Hi, it's Rowan from PhysioFit and thanks for joining me today. This is the fourth video in our series of exercises and techniques for beginners. I'm going to go through two exercises with you today. One is called overhead reach, which is all about being able to keep the rib cage steady whilst moving your arms. And I also want to go through an exercise for mobility in the spine called an articulated bridge. So come and join me on the mat and we'll get started. Okay. So as soon as you get down to the floor, make sure that you spend a moment or two just perfecting your setup. So you want to get a nice length through the back of the neck. Don't forget to tuck shoulder blades underneath your rib cage. Feel some contact with the back of your rib cage and the floor and find your neutral spine position for your pelvis. Okay. Once you can feel those positions in place, slide your hands away from you. So there's some nice length around the sides of your neck. And we're going to start with the overhead reach. I want you to bring your arms up and off the floor up to 90 degrees. Allow your armpits to open and travel your hands up and overhead and then sweep them back round to your sides. Now, as your arms travel up and overhead, I really want you to think about your rib cage dropping heavy into the floor so that the movement is really just isolated to your shoulder joints. It's tempting as your hands go up to want to arch your upper back. So I really want you to think of actively softening the rib cage and allowing it to sort of melt into the floor as your hands travel over. Breathe out and breathe in. And breathe out and breathe in. That's a really nice kind of rhythmical quality to the movement as your hands are back stroking overhead and the rib cage is soft and heavy on the floor. Good. Now rest your hands down by your side. We're going to take the movement into the articulated bridge and then we're going to join the two up together. So step your feet into a comfortable space a little closer to your bottom perhaps than where you would start for the scissors that we did in the first video. So bring your feet a little closer to you and make sure that you've got a good connection between the sole of your foot and the floor. Start with the pelvic tilt and roll your pelvis in towards you. So six o'clock is lifting up, 12 o'clock is dropping down and your sit bones are sort of reaching up towards the back of your knees there. Then start to continue to peel the pelvis and the lower back off the floor. And as you hit the lower ribs, start to reach away through your knees so that you're opening the front of your hips. Really think of opening the crease of your groin until you're pouring your weight into the ribs and sort of between the shoulder blades. There shouldn't be any feeling of weight in the back of your head. You're trying to get your hips up higher than your rib cage, and it's really about opening the hips rather than arching the spine. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, allow your spine to kind of trickle back on down to the floor. Lower the lower back, and then let your pelvis rotate all the way through at the bottom until the sit bones are pointing away from you again. Let's do that again. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, roll the pelvis in towards you. Start to pick up the skin away from the floor. Reach away through both knees. Think about opening the hip joint and really press and open. Stand into both feet. Drop them into the floor and pour your weight into the rib cage. Take a breath in and trickle back down through the spine again. Make it really smooth. If there's part of it that you kind of want to go through quickly, that's the bit to slow down on. That's the stiff area of the spine that you want to roll slowly and smoothly through to try and improve the mobility. Okay, now we're gonna combine that overhead reach and the articulated bridge together. Bring your hands up and overhead and let them travel overhead, taking a breath in. As you breathe out, start to roll the bridge and your hands sweep through, opening your hips. Good. 
As your hands start to travel up, you articulate the bridge down through both arms. Let your tailbone release, let your armpits open. And then roll back around, roll on up and into the bridge. Opening your hips, reaching through your knees. Good. And then pick up your hands and roll back down again. Okay, now we're going to reverse that movement. So I want you to leave your hands overhead and roll up and into the shoulder bridge. Good. And then bring your hands all the way down to the side. Roll the hands down, roll the hips down with you and release at the bottom. And this time as you pick up your hands, you're going to roll the bridge up at the same time. And roll back down as your hands come around. And one more time. All the way down and roll to come up. Now leave your hands overhead for this last repetition and then trickle the spine back down to the floor, leaving your hands there. You get a really good stretch through the shoulders and upper back. Tailbone release, take a breath in. And on the out breath, bring your hands all the way round. And finish where we started. Lovely. Turn onto your side and use both arms to push yourself up and into sitting. You can take a moment just to let your blood pressure settle into a more upright position again. And that's it. That's an articulated bridge and overhead reach and sort of a method of combining the two. I hope that you found this video useful and that you'll join me again soon.